Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and are my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, Part 2. Edmund lost Lucy in the snow right away, but soon he met an elegant woman wrapped in fur, riding in a sleigh pulled by reindeer. She stopped when she saw him. Pray, how did you come to enter my dominion? She asked in an angry voice. Nervously, Edmund stammered. I'm not sure. Lucy's the one of four of us who's been here before. She said she met some phone called Tumnus. Suddenly, the woman was friendlier. She conjured treats for Edmund, including his favorite, Turkish Delight. She told Edmund she was the queen, and then she made him a tantalizing promise. One day, she might make him a prince of Narnia, if only he would introduce her to his brother and sisters. Edmund said goodbye to the nice queen and watched her ride off in her sleigh. Moments later, he heard footsteps behind him. It was Lucy. I told you Narnia was real, she cried. Lucy told him where she'd been. I saw Mr. Tumnus, she explained. He's fine. The White Witch hasn't found anything about him meeting me. Edmund froze. He looked down at the sleigh tracks in the snow. Are you all right? Lucy asked. You look awful. What you expect? I'm freezing. How do we get out of here? To Peter and Susan, Edmund pretended there was no such thing as Narnia. Even when Lucy had cried and begged her siblings to believe her, Edmund still denied it. But then one day, he accidentally hit a cricket ball through a window at the professor's house. Mrs. McCready came running to check out the damage. The four kids were cornered until they crammed into the wardrobe. When they wandered through the coats and felt the wet snow beneath their feet, everyone knew Lucy was telling the truth. You little liar, Peter said to Edmund threateningly. The others hardly spoke to Edmund as they plodded through the snow to visit Mr. Tumnus, but soon they had a bigger problem on their hands. The Fonz's house was ruined, and Mr. Tumnus was gone. Lucy was sure it was her fault, but if Mr. Tumnus had been turned to stone, she was determined to find him. Then two talking beavers appeared to help. There is hope, dear, Mrs. Beaver assured her. There is more than hope, her husband interrupted. Aslan is on the move. He's the king of the whole wood. He's the real king of Narnia, and he's waiting for you at the stone table. The Pevensies had no idea what he meant, so the beavers filled them in. Everything that was happening in Narnia, from Mr. Tumnus's rest to Aslan's return, was because of them. An ancient prophecy dictated that when two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve, also known as human children arrived in Narnia, Aslan would come back. 
with him they would lead an army against the white witch and restore peace to the land then they would ascend to four thrones in a palace called Care Paravel. None of it made sense to Susan. There were no such things as witches. She didn't care to be a queen. She just wanted to go home. It was much too late to leave though. While the beavers were talking to them, Edmund had run away to join the white witch. Peter, Susan, and Lucy ran after him until the beavers set them straight. If they followed their brother, they would walk through into the hands of the witch, who was waiting to pounce. They would have to go directly to Aslan. He was the only one who could help Edmund now. Lucy hated to abandon her brother and it was an awfully long way to the stone table over a frozen river and through a dense forest even worse the witch's wolves were on their trail suddenly she heard them lucy flew into the woods diving after peter susan and the beavers into a small cave soon she could hear sleigh bells right outside. It had to be the witch herself. I hope you enjoy listening to the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe Part 2. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!